Hey everybody, welcome back to Yakuza. Infinite wealth, not infinite money brain. Um, so we last left off. Well, we went to Akane's house. I was drugged, I was set up, I was arrested, and then I was about to be thrown in prison for 20 years under crimes I didn't commit. Then I broke the guy's nose, ran, and awfully new voiced Kiryu Cosma saved me and um, now I'm signed up for a dating app and also I make a great waiter I never knew that um yeah that, I basically the two side quests part of me wants to do a few more because look at all of them just right here but you know what, what I know Let's you don't serious. I know you don't want to see any more side quests and also I want to see what the story gives So far, I'm enjoying the game. There are just... Ooh, a free magazine. Oh, really? Give me, give me, give me. There's a few things I don't like at the moment. They're minor. There was the lady we met in front of the uh, one bar. Revolve, I think it was called. Yeah, Revolve. Her mic was definitely of a different quality. And she was talking and this and that. And... You can definitely tell. Oop, I'm feeling good. Just straight up barbecue chips, nice. But yeah, her mic was different quality, so it was a little off-putting. But, yeah, you can live with it. The other issue is this guy. I don't know why they changed the voice actor from the one from Like a Dragon in Infinite Wealth with this actor. But, yeah, not that good. But what can you do? But live with your decisions. Hopefully, either they improve or Saga gets a different voice actor that fits it a bit better next time. Okay, time to head back to Akane-san's. Let's go. No time like the present. I mean, I'm not saying I absolutely hate Kiryu's new voice actor, but it does not fit him. Uh, this is it, Kiryu-san. Oh, uh, you know, I'll drop it. You're sure could... this is the place, Kasuga? Yeah, I'm sure. Might have been pissed drunk, but my memory's sharp as ever. Yeah, I don't need to keep talking about Kiryu's voice actor. I'll just live with it. Doors open, Kiryu-san. Hey! Is anybody home? Nah, they're gone by now. Also, I don't think this is Connie's house. Or, I don't think Connie's here anymore, is what I should say. And that's where he was drugged with the rum. It's just the same as it was that night. Kiryu-san, you find anything? No, I can't say I have. But let me ask you something. What's up? You're sure this is Akane-san's address? The place her mother lives? Uh, it should be. Not that I've actually seen her here, but... How about this, then? Is Akane-san the woman in this photo? Is it the woman you're also after? What the...? She looks older, but yeah, that's her. But wait, what are you doing with her photo, Kiryu-san? What's going on here? Remember how the Daidoji ordered me to find and detain a certain someone? Akane-san's that someone. What? You're telling me some government spy rings after my mom? I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. <coughs> Uh-oh, we just got set up, maybe? I hate to say it, your hair pokes over the windowsill. Holy cow, these guys really hate us. And there's that really cool guy. It's cold easy. Yamai! What's she doing here? Hmm. Causing trouble, no doubt. You know him? He's pretty infamous in Hawaii. At least in the underworld. Well, 
Seems we've got company. Nice ride. Oh, shame I had to do that. Go. Tomizawa. Don't disappoint me this time. I, I, I won't. He really likes that. Guess we're doing this. <laughs> Too bad they don't know who they're dealing with. Ready to bust some heads, Kiryu san? Not today. Let's slip out through the back. Huh? Cure you, son? Wow. Well, I guess you don't want to fight every bite. He probably thinks this one's not worth fighting for. Around back. Mizawa, right? Looks like your mind got you pretty bad. You healing up okay? Just shut up and stay put, all right? If, if I don't take you out right here, it's all over for me. His hand's shaking. I doubt he has a shot at this range. On my signal, you get in the car. Hold that thought. There's something I need to do first. What are you saying? Uh, hey! Kasuga! One more step, and these bullets go right through your brain! My advice? You put that down and get yourself over to a hospital. Actually, we could even take you. Oh yeah? Is that some kind of threat? Tell me, did you swear an oath to Yamai? What? Yeah, so what if I did? I see you slap that oath back in his face. Uh. In the Yakuza, your boss calls all the shots, whether it means life or death. That also means he better be worth your blood on his hands. So tell me, is Yamai worth it? I can't just... Look, I don't have a choice here, man! I back out now, he'll kill me! You don't know him like I do! We can help you. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> what? What'd you say? I said, we can help you. And I meant it. We'll make sure your mind never lays a hand on you again. You can count on that. Why? Why, though? After everything I did to you? Do I look like a fucking moron? <laughs> you look like you're about to shit your pants. Believe me, though, I've been there. <laughs> Where all you want to do is scream for help that you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. The thing is, sometimes you will get an answer. I learned that from a man who bailed me out when I was just a young punk on the streets. So I figured I ought to pay it forward. And now would be the time. <sighs> oh. Atta boy, Tomizawa. That's more like it. Let's see. This fool again. Yeah, this fool. Why the hell are you here? Took the words right out of my mouth. Where's the old lady? I don't gotta tell you shit, man. Oh, you'll wish you had. 
Tomizawa. Shoot him on the count of three. After that, we can try your buddy over there. Say, I know you. M boss? <laughs> no, perhaps not. Back to business. One. You still have a choice here. Two. Tomizawa! <laughs> Some choices you can't undo. I would know. So if you're gonna take us out now, get ready to carry that weight. For the rest of your life. Huh. <laughs> and three. <laughs> wow, you almost did it. Tomizawa. Holy shit! Holy shit! I was shot up! <laughs> hey, but you didn't, alright? <laughs> now don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Ain't that right? Yeah. Oh, now we're fighting. Oh, okay. The man's made a bold step forward. Let's do our part and clear the path ahead. Okay, boys. Listen up. I want one man maimed and the other murdered. Doesn't matter which. But save Tomizawa from me. I'll make sure he wishes he was never even born. Oh, he's at my party. Guess I'll teach you some manners. He's guarding. Uh, what do you do? Lug launcher, damages an enemy, lug wrench. Okay. Uh, magical damage, and... Here I come! What? Allow me. Man, my garden is off right now. Little bitch for your britches, eh, Tomizawa? Man, he's doing good for an arm that's in a sling right now. Here we go. Beautiful. No. Open one. Safety first. Let's roll. Hey, All right. Oh, nice. Okay, you want to block this? Let's get it done. Let's up. Got you now. I'm gonna see what this does. Armed and ready. Here we go. <laughs> That's actually really strong. What? Here we go.
Come on, get in. Uh, okay. Well, we got a new party member. <laughs> I was right. I knew it was you. Kazuma Kiryu. You're alive! The dragon rears his head once more! Originally, Yamai was in the Tojo clan. It's part of the Tabata family. Tabata? How come that's not ringing a bell? They dissolved around when you swore up, and their members all went to other families. Oh, yeah, that happens. The Daidoji faction told me about him before I left Japan. The main reason the family broke up is because Yamai killed Shuji Tabata, his patriarch. It was patricide? No way. Something I'm no stranger to? Well, that's all in the past. Oh, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to accuse you or anything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, from the look of it, the murder was a crime of passion. Huh. Hard to imagine Yamai being passionate about anything. That's what the police said, anyway. Apparently, Yamai had feelings for Yui Tabata, the patriarch's wife. No wonder that didn't end well. Yeah, and when her husband found out, he got into the fight that ended his life. Yamai then tried to assault Yui, who was present at the scene. After the dust settled, she testified everything he'd done to the police. What happened to him then? He was branded a traitor to the Tojo clan, and everyone went after his head. But by then, he'd up and disappeared. Nobody'd seen him since. Years later, he surfaced over here in Hawaii. While back home, the Tojo clan was crumbling. Guy's got a hell of a backstory. By the way, why'd he show up at Akane-san's in the first place? Uh, we were supposed to grab her, or at least you know, turn the house inside out looking for clues. I don't really know any more than that. So one thing we know is Yamai's definitely after her. The hell would the Yakuza want with Akane-san? If I had any idea, I'd tell you. But like you said, the boss is the one calling the shots. All right, before my brain explodes, let me just lay this all out here. I started off by visiting Akane-san at her house, right? Uh, but instead of seeing her, I met a girl named Chitose. I thought she was her maid at the time. At first, I thought she was cool. But that was before she got me drunk, took my clothes, stole my wallet, and tossed me on the beach butt naked. Then, after waking up with sand all over my junk, I got arrested. They were gonna blame me for all these crimes I didn't do, but I escaped. That's when I ran into Kiryu-san. After catching up a bit, we went back to Akane-san's house to find clues on Chitose. But then Yamai showed up, and now we know he's after Akane-san too. Oh, and that's not all! That night, Chitose said Akane-san would be back the next day. But we were just there. And she was nowhere to be found. So for some reason, Akane-san's been in hiding. And since she wasn't home today, she's either still on the run... Or she's already been found. And since it's not by us or Yamai, then is somebody else after her too? I wouldn't be surprised after what we saw. Damn it! What do we do? If Akane-san's being chased around by a bunch of lunatics, we can't let them get to her! Unfortunately, we're a little short on leads right now. Not to mention, the day's grown long. You two can stay at my hotel, and we'll try again tomorrow. Yeah? That'd be okay? Not like you have anywhere else to go, right? Uh, no kidding. Thanks. That work for you, Tomizawa? I, I'm pretty much dead if I go home now. 
That's true. The mice probably got it under watch. Then it's settled. We'll call it from here. You know, Tamizawa, I feel like you're gonna be a cool guy. Okay, give me a second. Tomizawa looks like he does not care. All right, let me equip some things on you. Oh, okay, good. You're already equipped up. Got some sneakers, because I noticed that you do not accept damage being dealt to you very well. All right, cure you. I never equipped anything for you. Casual Aloha shirts, good for you. Beach sandals are good for you. I'll give you a health ring. I'm gonna give Tamizawa a... Nope. You. And your health is lower than mine, so I shall give you binding. I gotta do some shopping, but I have absolutely no money. Alright, now I wanna see what your job is, Tomizawa. You're a cabbie. Lug launcher, okay. Use. Well, I got a burp or something coming. Okay, it's done. Interesting. So he is a spellcaster. Essence of steer clear. Years of driving led Tomizawa to dream up this unique material martial arts display, which damages all enemy and may lower the defense. And essence of buckle up, dealing magic damage to enemies with low. With a low chance of instilling fear, Tomizawa drives his fare straight to the hospital. Interesting. Oh. I'll take your life. Bring it on. Uh, can I check out my new Let's party member? Up. Lug launcher or huh? Let's go. I'll take you on. Got you now. You're out of here. <laughs> How do you Around pull a Higher up. No. Think you can handle this? Beautiful. Let's get it done. We're done here. End of the line. One day I'll block that. Learn more every day. Oh, essence of Kali sticks. Okay. Oh, there's a side quest during the night. Oh, actually, where are these just the same side quests I didn't do, or are they different? I have no idea. I am not doing shogi. Oh. I have no idea what that is. Hmm? Hmm? What's this? I have no idea. It's a... Something. Best fortune. Great paper blessing. Take it to Kamalope at the shrine and you can exchange it for four fortune points. Best fortune. Did someone from the shrine drop this? I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's where it went. Thanks for picking up, pal. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa. Oh, wait, what's Kamalope doing here? Wah! Jeez, don't scare me like that. Don't scare you. You're the one who put the in a giant monster suit. Hey, I resent that. I'm the world famous Kamalope jerk. Don't you know I'm posted up at the shrine here? Uh huh? Kamalope. That's that weird Kamarocho mascot, right? Wait, is that you, Ichiban? Ah, the Tojo clan crest person. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, who are you? Have we met? Of course we've met. Back in Yokohama, you collected all those Tojo clan crests for me. Yeah. I did? Yep. Oh yeah, that was it. This guy asked me to bring him straight crests I found to keep Tojo clan relics out of enemy hands. Back then, he said he was wearing a Kamala outfit to hide from the Omni Alliance. Right, you're the f that former Tojo man under there. 
I knew you won't forget me. Long time no see, bud. How nuts is it to run into each other again? Here of all places. Yeah, sure is. Wait, does that mean you're still out hunting down crests in Hawaii? Ha! Huh. No, no. My respects to the clan have been paid. That chapter of my life is closed for good. I figure it's time for uh, make a brand new start somewhere else. You know as well as I do, us Tojo guys have things to atone for. Maybe so. Yeah, although it kind of feels like you're dragging the past along with you when you're still got that costume on. Oh, this? What can I say? I had the damn thing on for so long that I feel naked without it. It got... It's got benefits, though. The priest here... He says it. Uh, I make good for shrine mascot. That the pay's nothing to sneeze at. So now I can make a quick buck while staying true to my art. Plus the outfit breeds surprisingly well in the tropics. Wear a combo of costumes your art now. Bye. Well, hey, far for me, uh, far be it for me to judge an honest day's work. Good luck out there. Whoa, before you go, what is it? That fortune you found a second ago. If you see any more around, you think you can bring them here? Huh? Um, sure. There are others? Yep. See, I wanted to imp uh, impress at this job, so I imported a boatload of the suckers straight from Japan, all officially Shinto blessed. They shipped to my house and I walked all uh, over here with them, except, well, I had a lot of errands to run and I kind of took the scenic route. By the time I got to the shrine, the whole bag was empty. The thing had a big old hole in it. You believe that? <sighs> I think I'm starting to see where this is going. I took in advance on my salary to buy so many. I literally don't think I can live without them. Plus, you know, they make the kids around here smile. So I'm begging you. These little paper SOBs have uh, have probably scattered all over the island by now. And obviously, I can't just abandon posts to go out looking for them. Alright, alright, I get it. Find the fortune slips, bring them back here. Huh? Exactly. You're a good one, Ichiban. Because you understand, I can't pay you for this, money wise, but I also ordered a ton of prizes to trade it for them. We'll do it mm -hmm. on points. Boy, points. Four points for a best fortune, three for a good fortune, two for a moss fortune, and one for a bad fortune. Makes sense, doesn't it? There weren't that many best fortunes mixed in with a bunch, so I'll make sure it's worth it for you to find them. I mean, I get the feeling you're not here on vacation, you know. Am I wrong? Wink, wink. For a guy stuck in a grinning corporate fursuit, he's actually pretty shrewd. Anyway, may the gods bless your search. Bless this mess. Across the city, you might find paper fortune slips delivered in the commelope at the shrine. Exchange for fortune points that you can trade for special items. Bad fortunes are worth points. Okay, yeah. Can't believe I ran the same damn commelope all over again. Fine. Though, if it helps us both out, I'll try to recover these fortunes. Oh, well, it happened. Here we go. Let's collect them. Alright, let me see your shop. Tranquilo do bad. I don't feel great. I don't feel great. Should I open it? Okay. Got it. Mr. Mine Cooler. Uh... That sobers Looks you. Looks like this up. key opens up a container. Next one I find, this little guy's going in. A best fortune. All right, we're gonna go fortune hunting. I am not Is talking. That an outdoor shogi in Hawaii? Maybe I ought to check it out. Nope. Dude, I suck at it. We're not doing it. Oh. Part of me really wants to do those side quests. 
Man, how many of these got it? All right, come with me. I just canceled your plan. Bring it on. I just canceled your plan. All right. You're in it now. Something wrong? I don't got to make it fun. Allow me. Let's get it done. Ow. Looks like I'm up. That's picking time. Nope. Let's do it. Here we go. Time to take out the trash. There we go. Allow me. Let's get it done. Go, Mr. MVP. Hey. I got $25 from beating up hoodlums. Nice. Bad fortune. Can't really call this a blessing. Ticket to Kamalo. Okay. Why did he buy a bunch of bad fortune? Ah, well. I'll never know. Iron Chong. A bad fortune. What do you want? What do you want? Hero's knife. Is that a weapon? Oh, you poor, poor guy. No, not a weapon. It must be a usable item in battle. In there, are, okay. you there are a lot of these guys during the night, which doesn't shock me. Beautiful. Allow me. All right. Think you can handle this? No. We're gonna throw you. <laughs> Looks like I'm up. Beautiful. Farewell. This is gonna hurt. Please. Brown attacks, Mark. Let's get it done. You know, you don't look like a Mark. Alright. Well, actually, wait, I have an idea. Here I come. Oh, I only took out the one. You're dead. Damn it, here we go. Goodbye. Win the On to the next level. I'm level ten. Nice. Right. Ooh, a shop. Let's look. Drink soon? Alright, let me see. It does not despawn anymore. Oh, that sucks. It used to despawn the enemies that are walking up to you. Now it doesn't. A wooden board. Okay. You just say. Welcome. A hero sword. I can't use any of these? Really? I can only... Really? I can't use these. That is... Shocking. I think today we're mostly just gonna explore Hawaii. Hmm? And maybe I'll do a side quest. I don't know, I just wanna go around and explore, even though it's nighttime right now. There's a lot of guys down there. Maybe I should put some of my... Okay, so Resolve's right there. I'm ignoring you. Uh, I need to go up north, but let's do south. And there's the hotel. And then from there, there's a bunch of side quests. Yeah. How much money do I have? A $400? I need to beat people up. That's why I couldn't teleport. Huh? Oh. What's wrong? <clears throat> What's wrong? Nothing. Just, you know, on the lookout for trouble. 
hear J I hear Japan's a safe country, but Hawaii, things can get rough real quick once uh, you veer off the main road streets, main streets. Hold on. And trust me, you don't want to mess with these people. They don't know the meaning of a fair fight. Special enemies with a crown icon over their heads will be hanging around until you defeat them. New new areas may open up once they're finally gone, but beware, they are substantially stronger normal encounters. I'll bet. So let's try to get around them. No point fighting if we don't yes. have to. Sounds good. Then we'll get to your hotel with as little commotion as possible. I don't know. I want to fight him now. Give me a second. I am, after all, the fool. Oh, so I'm just gonna open that chest. Should I open it? Sweet! Muscle booster. Okay. Alright, let's ignore these guys. They said they're extremely tough and... Well, we're not exactly healed right now. I don't feel great. Yeah, I know you don't feel great. We're working on it. I don't feel like using hmm? healing items. So hmm? Dog food. What are you staring at? Nothing. Man, they have a lot more guys on the streets as enemies. Well, then again, it is nighttime right now. Okay, now I can teleport. Okay. Hmm. Found something shiny out in the restroom the other day. I but I just couldn't anything. stick my hand in to find out what it actually was. So there's a restroom nearby. You know, let's eat at that place to heal. Oh, wait. Okay, I said aloha. No, no one's gonna want to purse. Aloha! Aloha. MP increased by five. That's okay. It's a hundred bucks, but I really have a healing. Yeah, let's keep looking around. Drink soon. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. Don't worry. We're gonna save you. Defense boost. Defense boost and defense. Okay. Go. Yeah, that was Stop. great. Alright. Thank you. Oh, no more arigato. It's now thank you. Arigato, namanasa. A modest fortune. Hmm. Ma'am, allow me to stop you and say, Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> nice. Hi. Nice Lincoln out there. Hey, EG, I was creeping on your profile and I saw how many friends you made. You must have fun. You must be having fun. There's some more app stuff. I can tell you about Resolve. Let's talk to her. Great. Now to go to Resolve to talk to her about this. All right. Right, I'm gonna save it and take a quick break here. I saved here. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nice break. People need to eat, you know. I'm a hungry, hungry man. So I'll see you later, which you won't know this. All right. Let's go, go, go. 
We're at the hotel. Okay, Kiryu, tell us more. Here we are. It. Really, is a nice hotel you've got. I don't know people sleep here. I'll loan a 40. <sighs> Sorry, bud. He took your wallet. Jeez, careful, man. He took your wallet. <clears throat> Damn it. Got my wallet. What the hell? Hey! You can't just go around stealing shit! Ugh. Oh. Are we doing a chase? Haven't done one of these in a while. I mean, no. Get your ass back here! Kasuga. He probably knows the area better than us. Only way to do this is to split up and corner him. Little Japan's still under construction, so let's drive him south toward the beach. Okay. South toward the beach it is. Kiryu-san, Tomizawa, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Chasing targets. What's the line for that game of chase now and again? Navigate obstacles by moving the left joystick or pressing A and Y cordon to on-screen prompts. You'll run automatically, so let's get going. You go! You took the wall. Wait up. Stop. Uh oh. Call. <laughs> All right, here you. You're next. Come on, you can get him. You've done this like a lot of times. End of the line. Oh, shit. There we go. Ugh. Hmm. Don't take my wallet or his wallet. Make sure he didn't pocket anything, Kiryu son. Yeah. Thanks. Also, I hate to say, shouldn't Kiryu be calling himself I don't something else? Recognize you. Did you come from the mainland, or? Yeah. Not here, a guy like me won't die of exposure. Hey, there's work here, too. At least that's what I heard. Kasuga, why don't you let him go? You sure? Last thing I want to do right now is drag him to the station. I'd rather just get to bed. <laughs> so the legend's as kind as he is strong. You hear that, buddy? Beat it. And don't do it again. <laughs> this happened a lot in Hawaii. Just another day in paradise, right? A uh, fun fact: Hawaii's got the largest homeless population in America. I never knew that. Actually, Yet the cost of living, living here is absurd. You know, according to rumor, some states even send their homeless over here. Come start your miserable lives over beneath swaying palm trees, sparkling waves in the background. Makes me want to become homeless. Just once to they get there. here. It's too late. What the mainland's really doing is shunting all the problems they can't or won't solve on us. As a result, you get people like our friend just now. So your country treats this place like a dump? That's messed up. Let me put it another way. There are four major currents in the North Pacific Ocean. And Hawaii sits right in the middle. So when it's time to pump the trash out to sea, where do you think it ends up? Oh, you guessed it. The Aloha State again. <sighs> so yeah, pity him all you want. He's just gonna do it again. It's the only way he knows how to survive. <sighs> yeah, it's hitting me. Shouldn't Kiryu go by different name even with us? I get him his, his what? name, but... What? Akane-san's been missing for 10 oh. days? Then where the heck has she been? Yeah, because Kiryu, if he's supposed to remain dead and not leave a trace and everything. If we're going around yelling Kiryu with a guy who kind of looks like Kiryu and people put pieces together, 
The man who's supposed to be dead is going to end up not being dead. Just saying. We should call him something else other than Kiryu. Sorry. It just hit me. But let's go back to the story. I don't know. I'm just telling you what the Daidoji told me. Well, that's not at all what Shitose said. That's the maid who set you up, right? Yeah. She lied and based you. on what she told me, Akane-san was only gone for that day. Not sure why you believe a word she said. A and was she even Akane-san's maid? Uh, like, you would have to be the dumbest chick in the world to rob your employer's own son. But then, why was she even there? <laughs> Hell if I know, man. Finding out where Akane was. Chitose herself. That's the only way we'll get to the bottom of this. And get back your passport while we're at it. Right. Tomizawa. How would you turn a stolen passport into money? Well, we do have a black market for that sort of thing. Oh, yeah? Uh, sure. I mean, people buy up stolen goods all the time. And if it's passports, I know just the guy. Who? His name's Jeff. <laughs> he runs a taco truck over on Waikiki Street. I keep forgetting we're in, technically in America now, and uh, I didn't expect a Jeff to show up. I honestly find that humorous. Yakuza, meet Jeff. Is tacos? Yeah. Tastes like ass, but that's beside the point. His real customers are pickpockets and homeless. So he buys up stolen passports, and then what? No, no, he must be reselling them somewhere. Mm, then Chitose might have sold his passport to Jeff. He does see a lot of Japanese people. It's how he got to be so fluent in the language. How soon can you take us to meet him? What, you thinking like right now? Yeah, we should act before the trail goes cold. Yeah, I agree. Even though I know you guys want to sleep. Well, I'm afraid that won't work. It's 10 on a Monday night. I wouldn't want to... You know, get caught out there right now. Caught? By who? Let me take a good look and you'll see. What happens at 10 at night? Except all the guys I had to fight to get here. Oh. All the homeless people? Wait, they're not homeless. What are they? Damn. Who are they? The local mafia. They call themselves the Barracudas. Ooh, I really like that song. Barracuda. As you can see, they got the run of the place. In terms of manpower, Yamai and his goons are just small fry. And what's interesting about them is they don't discriminate when recruiting. Yeah, since mafias tend to stick to one language or ethnicity. Then what brought these guys together in the first place? Well, once upon a time, they were all homeless. Or at least, most were. All those years of getting kicked around, ignored, and spat on by society must have triggered something in them. And at some point, they decided to band together. I guess anger runs thicker than blood. Every Monday night is like this. They come out of the woodwork and strut around till dawn. It's like their way of saying, we own this place. <laughs> and it works. Unless you want them turning you into poke, don't mess with them. Huh? They'll do what? Is there no way around? Can we just steer clear and make for Jeff's? No. Not unless you want to risk your life. Uh-oh. We got trouble. Oh no, the homeless man who robbed you. Don't do it. Oh, not to them. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of it. Hey! Excuse me. Not hey. so fast, asshole. Uh, beg your pardon. Thought you'd get away with it, huh? What's in your hand? My wallet, right? <laughs> take him around with that. See what's up, I don't want to see what's up with us. I don't want to die. Hey, hey! Are you nuts? Yep, Shit. I have a feeling. Should've just said nothing! <laughs> We're gonna save the homeless man who robbed Kiryu because that man, 
He deserves a second chance. He deserves a better life, as the beginning of the game taught us. Dragging away into that alley up north. Gotta hurry. All side quests are gone because this is important. Wait, real quick. Let's actually, how much money do I have? Oh wait, give me a second. Aloha. Hello. Hey there. Aloha. Yep. Aloha. Safety brooch, ten armor, wooden board, which I have. Oops. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to move something on my screen. Okay, wooden board. Oh, there's gonna be a surfer class. Thank you. I can't wait. Oh wait, give me a second. I'm sorry, homeless man. I'm hey. going to save you. <laughs> oh, I think she likes me. Oh man, this game. I love the new locale. Oh, Hawaii was a good choice. Okay, let's do this. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Not a world knows a pair of you fuck around! Sure that bitch yeah, yeah, that's how you handle things. Yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to see... Oh, he's not going to hey, be alive. You still with us? Hold it. What's up? You guys don't want to see this. Trust me. Oh, no. What? I, is he okay or not? Hey! Oh, jeez. Insane. They just cut him wide open. The last thing we want is to join him. We need to move fast. Hurry! <coughs> Get up, man. We gotta go. Oh, I want to beat those bastards up. Got a feeling we shouldn't know. That is literally a sanctuary we're at right now. You saw it. That was how the Barracuda sent a message. Before, I'd only heard stories. Never thought I'd have to see the real thing. You all right there, man? Hell no, I'm not. We could have gotten killed just now. And no one would even miss us. The cops would just walk away, leave the case unsolved. You're saying they let a pack of killers roam free? As they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Same as the Yakuza in Japan, right? Take it from a local. We really need to call it a night. Tough as you two are, even you guys can't take on a whole army. I can try. Yeah. All right. Man, that guy did not deserve, deserve that. Oh. They spiked him up against the wall and impaled him. Mm. Those barracudas, man. Still hung. Still hung on what they did. Or. Uh, how did I do his voice before? Or the fact they got away with it. Either way, dwelling on uh, what's salt damn All thing. Right. right. Much as I want to stop them, we need to focus on the task at hand. This guy, Jeff, you mentioned. He deals in stolen goods. Yeah. From a taco truck in Wakiki Street. It's a bit north of here. You guys ready got to go? It. Yeah. Guess what's done is done. For now, let's get my passport back. Oof. I'm feeling good. That guy got the... Oh, a side quest. Yeah, that guy got the... What? What is that? Oh. And you can see on the map... Oh. Oh. These actually show up on the map now? What's up? You sleep deprived or something? Yeah, couldn't sleep a wink. Just tossing and turning all night. Hey now, sleep is life. You gotta take care of yourself. I'll let you borrow this, so try it out tonight. What? Don't tell me it's sleeping pills. I don't... Special theory of relativity through quantum mechanics. It's a book. Holy shit, it's huge! <laughs> 
You actually carry this fucker around? Yeah, you read a few pages and you're in snooze land before you know it. Yeah, but what do I do with the other 944 pages? Bond bingos get filled in as you learn more about your friends doing walk and talks. Check out the progress via pause menu. Once you fill a row or column at diagonal line, you score a bingo and the bonds of your friendship will deepen great. We're really opening up. He reads a challenging book. I mean, it makes sense. He uses a wrench as a weapon, so he is a smart guy. He is not physically strong, but mentally, he is probably way better than Kiryu or me. Surf's up, dude. Oh. Is that a segue? Hmm? Shred waves on the pavement with a street surfer. Would you like to take a spin? Right now, membership is totally free. Hey, excuse me. We're currently having a promotion for the street surfer. Membership is absolutely free. Are you interested? In a street surfer? No way in hell I'm setting foot on that death trap. But wait, it's not effective anymore. Just give it another chance. Uh, nobody understands. Beauty, that is my street surfer. I take it, yeah, Look, you injured yourself what's a with the street surfer. <clears throat> yeah, you can notice all the bandages on him. Yeah, he's definitely took a few bumps with that. Ah, good sir. How about a cruise on a new and improved street surfer? We're currently doing free trials, and membership is free too. It's a world class deal. How about it? Um, I'm gonna need some more information. What exactly is a street surfer anyway? You've never heard of it. Strange. It was blowing up all over the place before. Literally, okay. probably. <laughs> yep. Anyway, let's not get hung up on the details. I'm Oka, inventor of the street surfer. Patent pending. All right. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san, good to meet you. And thanks for being willing to hear me out. Well then, <clears throat> the Street Surfer is an all-electric, eco-friendly light vehicle. Two decades of painstaking R&D in the making. Oh, well, so you ride this thing? It's a bit funky to me. Oh, contraire. This baby here is going to revolutionize the industry. Forget about e-boards and e-bikes. For starters, there's no kicking or pedaling involved. Just chillax. Enjoy the ride. Believe me, it's the most user-friendly mobility tech out there. The only effort you need is to hop on and go. Huh. Well, that does sound handy. But if it's so great, why was everyone avoiding you just now? Oh, well, the truth is, I made a teensy little blunder during development. And, uh... And? And? <laughs> you see, remember when I said my invention blew up? I knew it. News about it spread across the entire island. Ah, uh, sure. I may not use the internet much, but I know all too well when something blows up on it. That's what happened, right? Uh, no. I mean, yes, I did get raked over the coals online. But you see, it blew up in more ways than... It actually blew up meaning. Costco. Well, there were a few kinks and hiccups to be ironed out with the Street Surfer back then, and, uh... The thing had the tendency to, uh, explode. So the damn thing blew up for real? <laughs> I nearly died of humiliation. Uh, but I assure you, that's all in the past. After some deep soul searching, I decided to fix all the bugs and do the test runs myself. That's 500 million instances of trial and error right there. I nearly lost my life pouring blood, sweat, and tears into this invention on numerous occasions. But it was all worth it, because now this thing runs like a champ. It's the safest, most innovative vehicle to hit the market. So why is this guy covered in wounds from head to toe? However, my past failures haunt me to this day. I can't shake all the bad press, so no one will give it a chance. But I have absolute confidence in the latest model. If I could just get people to give it a shot, I'm sure things would take off from there. I get it. Sounds like you're in a tough spot. Well, if those battle scars are any evidence, it shows you're at least passionate about your product. So, what do you say? You take a leap of faith? You're the first person to hear me out in ages. I'm sure you won't regret giving it a try. You're sh mm. you, you sure that thing's not gonna blow sky high? I swear it! 
These lacerations are proof of progress. Who says roads aren't way? Oh, wow, wait. Oh, this is nice. Once you obtain a street surfer, you can ride it by pressing down on the keypad and get around fast. While riding, if you press RT and set the surfer to auto cruise, automatically. Oh, that's really useful. Well, you only live once. Should I give the street surfer a chance? Yeah. Gotcha. Then, challenge accepted. Let's give it a whirl. All right. Thank you so much. Now, please, change your mind. Right on. I'm curious. Is something gonna. Oh, okay. Uh, cruising. Oh, okay. All right, in the street surfer, press RT to engage auto cruise. If you open your map, Select button to press it set destination. You can drive there while cruising. You can perform. Okay. I'm going here. Place pin. And now, how do I do it again? Oh, yeah. Huh. Sure beats running around. Actually, it rides pretty smooth. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this thing go. Okay, it's actually not that bad. It has a battery I sell, so I might have to recharge it. I must say, you're a natural. So, what do you think? Well, it's a lot cooler than I expected. It's almost easier than walking. And that's saying something. Music to my ears, good sir. <laughs> you don't know how much I've been yearning to hear those words. Oh, what have we here? That street surfer wannabe's at it again. What a dumbass! Not only is that shit lame, it's a ticking time bomb! Sorry, can I help you? Or perhaps clear something up? While there were some development issues in the past, I can assure you, the street surfer's current incarnation is as safe as it gets. What? You calling me a liar? Just for that, I'm gonna junk this thing! No, stop! You're hurting it! <laughs> All right, and who we got here? A satisfied customer. See, I just had a blast on the street server. Might even sign up as a bona fide member. So why not trade it with a little more respect? Or, you know, at least have the stones to try it out. Are really talking to me about respect? Kidding, how about I junk you first? <laughs> Kidding. Don't get caught. Let's do it. I mean, I see an Let's item behind me. I want to see if I can grab it. You okay, cannot. Shame. Oh well. Got you now. You too, Just attack him. Out. Follow my lead. Oh, damn. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's get it. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Now, scram, like Who do I add it in me? Kasuga-san, are you all right? Oh, you really went out of your way. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. Guys like that bug me anyhow. More important, is the surfer still intact? They kicked the living crap out of it, but it'll survive. Alas, better safe than sorry. It's back to the lab with this one. If all the damage caused another malfunction, that'd be the end for sure. Right, good point. Hey, so, um... Oh, the surfboard-looking thing is the charging station. I was trying to pick it up and battle. The street surfer, surfboard, charging station. I get it. Ha ha ha. Earlier, you mentioned considering a street surfer membership. Are you still on board? Yeah, I've honestly taken a liking to it. And it's free right now anyway, right? <laughs> Plus, you seem to be in need of people, so... Oh, wow! That's so great to hear! In fact... It's a dream come true! So when I register, I'll be able to ride these anytime I want? Yes. 
except in places where recreational vehicles are banned, you can basically ride them wherever, whenever. However, they run on electricity, so after using it for a while, you'll need to charge it up. This you can do at one of my specially branded charging stations, an Oka Charger, located sporadically throughout Hawaii. Now, street surfers do cost money to recharge, but the more you charge at once, the more bang you get for your buck. Mm -hmm. You okay. can also modify the appearance and functionality of your surfer at a charging station, so please tinker to oh, your heart's content. Nice. Okay, charging up that chassis. chassis. The street surfer consumes battery while in motion. You can charge and customize your street surfer at Oka stations. Charge. Pay to refill the street surfer's battery. Choose from three options depending on how much power you need. Customize. Alter the look of your street surfer using new materials such as wheels and paint. Got it. Hawaii is pretty big, so I was kind of worrying about transportation. This will be a huge help. I'm going to use this. I'm so glad that. to hear that. In the meantime, I'll be working hard to expand my services for your convenience. Thanks, man. Well then, guess I'll leave you to it. For sure. Take care. Yeah, you too, Kasuga-san. I'm gonna laugh if it explodes. Uh-oh. Wait, is that smoke I see? Oh, shit! Oka-san! Hey, Oka-san! Yes? It seems that kicking the device triggers combustion. Uh, but not to worry. I will fix this. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely worried. You can now ride the Street Surfer. You got a Street Surfer Barry Pack Alpha. Okay. Oh, that must be DLC. Maybe. Keep your eyes straight ahead. Then. Let me see. Examine. Charge. Okay, nope, not worth it. Customize. These are all locked. Ooh. Mm, there's some really good colors here. Alright, let's see. Where else do I want to go? Alright, so that's over there. Let's go down here. Follow me, boys! Oh, god, all that cruise is not... Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, this thing is actually really nice. Now this is nice. Trolleys, huh? I guess they're the thing to do as a visitor. It might be nice to go around the island on one of these. Oh, okay. That must be the side quest. Actually, wait. Are you the side quest? Nope. Okay, let's get on the bus. Trolleys are a great way to get around Hawaii. You can enjoy the views or have some unique dialogue with your companions. Trolleys arrive at stops periodically. And you wait at one to pass time until it appears. On board, head to the exit door while stop to disembark. You can also talk to the driver to get to the next stop quickly. Well, let's do it. Let's look around this new land. Trolley sure are convenient. You can see pretty much everything Hawaii has to offer whenever you hop on board. If only we had some back in Japan. Oh. That guy's taking a ton of photos. Must be trying to get some good shots of the scenery or something. I bet he knows everything there is to know about Hawaii. Maybe if I talk to him, I could learn some, learn a thing or two myself. <laughs> These turned out real nice. I swear, if he's taking pictures of chicks, I'm going to laugh. Hey there, snap any good photos? 
Yeah, they came out perfectly. I got the most amazing shots. Why is heaven on earth for a photographer like me? I'm sure. This place has so many beautiful sights and scenes. I like the beaches. I don't doubt there's plenty of photo ops. Hey, if it's all right with you, can I look at some of your photos? Oh, sure. I don't mind. Are you a tourist or something? Yeah, something like that. I usually hang around Yokohama, but I had some business to take care of here. Name's Ichiban Kasuke. Nice to meet you. I'm George Kuroki. You can always find me riding the trolley and taking pictures. Nice to meet you too, Kazuka Chao. You said you wanted to see my pictures, did you? Then here, take a look. These are the finest photos I've ever taken. Let's see. Oh. Um. Mm. Uh. Uh. What the hell? Uh. So what do you think? Incredible, aren't they? What do I think? <laughs> Dude, what's your deal? Okay, Every it was one of these It wasn't It wasn't chicks in bikinis, I'll say that. Guys, this is a sicko! Well, of course they are. My field of photography is sickos after all. Lifestyles of the sick and infamous. <clears throat> Snap those sickos. You can specialize in that? Yeah, and Hawaii is the best place to find them. A lot of folks let loose when they come here, and some of them get a little too carried away. Take this viral video from a while back. Apparently, some whack job in a mask went around harassing tourists and put it on camera. And now the number of copycats imitating that video skyrocketed. They've been disguising themselves and pulling even more stupid stunts around town. This place is turning into a hotbed of depravity. The perfect work environment for a photographer of the obscene! Hey, this is your job? You can really make money off of this shit? Well, don't forget, there's also the Sujimon Sensei. <laughs> you can make a pretty penny, actually. Who do you think pays for him? Uh, evil just as obscene as you? Obscene as me? Good luck! Listen, the cops are the ones coughing up the cash. You hear me? The cops. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I told you, the number of copycats are skyrocketing. That means the police are having a hard time taking care of them, so they came to me to do something about it. They figured the most efficient way to round them up was to get me in on this. You know, since I'm always taking shots of them anyway. Okay, so how's a photographer supposed to help? Well, in short, the cops use my pictures to find these sickos and arrest them. We have it rigged so that whenever I snap a photo, the picture data immediately gets sent to the cops. And with the picture data, they can pinpoint where the sickos are and catch them in the act. Plus, if I can photograph them doing the deed, then the pictures also double as criminal evidence, so it's two birds, one stone. Anyway, I'm doing noble work here. Maybe one day, I'll get me a medal. Well, I guess that explains your bizarre taste in photography. <laughs> You're catching on. And since the trolley is the most efficient way to get around Hawaii, it makes my job easier than ever. There's no way anyone would suspect they're being watched and photographed on the fly. Honestly, it's pretty fun. Just search for sickos hiding themselves in a crowd of normal, ordinary people and snap a photo. Kind of like a game. Huh, sounds fun when you put it that way. You want to give it a whirl? Oh, oh, I do. Me? I don't know if I'll be any good at it, though. I haven't used a camera much at all. That's fine. I'm not telling you to create a masterpiece or anything. All you gotta do is look for people wearing stuff on their heads and snap a picture once you spot them. No need for any fancy tricks or techniques. Just try to keep the focus on the subject. Have them as large and centered as possible. That's how you can rake in more cash. If you think you can handle it, then give it your best shot. All right, guess I'll do a little test run. Nice! Snap away, Kasuka Chow! All right, time to take pictures of sickos. For the police. The corrupt police. Oh, sicko snap. Sicko snap is a side game where you snap photos from the trolley window. Capturing sickos doing sick, sick deeds throughout the city will reward you snap points. Keep in mind that you can only take a limited number of pictures, though. Once you run out, the game ends. Earn the snap points by the end, and already completed the game. 
capturing sickos. When capturing a sicko, try keeping them in frame as possible. Uh, yeah, keeping them in frame as possible to earn even more snap points. Taking the perfect shot may be difficult, but sometimes you gotta suffer for your art. Photo appraisal. By taking photos center on the target, you'll be awarded with more snap points. Want a better rating? Then zoom in! Keep in mind that you can only earn snap points for a specific sicko once, so make sure your shot counts. Get some good shots! These shots came out real nice! Good enough for me! How many of them are there? These shots came out real nice! Just why? Why are there so many people in this place? Shots came oh, out real oh, nice. No. Oh my god, we're playing Pokemon Snap. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Why? Just why? I need to step it up. Shots came out real nice. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Gold bonus. If you manage to photograph golden sickos in the signature pose, you'll get a gold bonus. That will net you additional snap points, so keep an eye out for goldens and try to capture them at the peak of their posturing. Shots came out real nice. Oh, I did it too early. Good enough for me. How many Shots came out real nice? How many people are doing this? Why? Came out real nice. Good enough for me. Oh, jeez. Oh. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Where's that sicko? Good enough for me. Come along. Get him. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Came out real nice. I'll do better next time. Good enough for me. I hear running, so one of them's shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. There's a police officer right there. I like the music. Oh, I missed two. Damn. Damn. Great shots. Oh, that's actually a pretty fun mini game, I guess. Whew. Great work, Kasuga Chan. You know, you're pretty good at this. You did well for your first time. Oh, yeah? I was tougher than I thought, though. These sickos really pop out of nowhere. Well, that's what sickos do. Show up where people don't want them. But they usually have a pattern, to some degree, at least. If you manage to pin it down, then getting some nice shots will be a piece of cake. It takes a few tries to get the hang of it, but I'm sure you'll be a phenomenal degenerate photographer in no time. Oh, before I forget, here's your reward for that photo session just now. Since it was your first time, I gave you a little bonus. Go on, take it. Ooh, that's being saved. Normally, we use a point-based system. Where you earn points based on the quality of your pictures. You can then trade those points for cash or items, but this time special. Oh, right. You can take this too. A camera? Are you sure I can have this? Yeah, I have another one of the same model. Don't worry about it. It's all yours. 
There are multiple trolley lines aside from this one that the police are using to snap pictures. Each line's got its own difficulty and unique breed of sickos, too. For now, just brush up your skills at Aloha Beach. It's the easiest spot to take photos from. And once you've gotten your berries, give the other trolley lines a try when you're feeling up to it. Okay. Got it! Well, now that I've got a camera, I'll try to do my part. Might not be much help, but I'll do my best where I can. Thanks. If you got any questions or just something random to say, then you can come talk to me anytime. Will do. All right then. Good luck out there, Kasuga-chan. You too. Yes, I've got a new hobby whenever I ride the trolley. <laughs> Yippee! There's a ton of sickos over there. Oh boy, give me some more of that action. Mom, what's he doing? Oh, don't look, sweetie. We call people like him a sicko. <sighs> <laughs> well, I just unlocked the mini game. Is anything wrong? Trolleys are. Oh, yep, we already know about that. Oh, there's another side quest here. Where am I? Oh, wait. Oh, there's also a, a link we can do here. Oh, nice! They released a new energy drink flavor. Energy drinks out here pack a way bigger punch than the ones over in Japan. Yeah, I bet. They're OP as far as pick-me-ups go. You can just forget about sleep. But after a while, you kind of build a tolerance. Tolerance? You know, if you always pick up the same flavor whenever you get sleepy, eventually you start to associate it with being sleepy instead. So new flavors help reboot the system, if you get me. It's great you found something that works. Ah, but now I'm worried about that system of yours. <laughs> All right. Energy drink when he's tired. All right, he ranked up. Aloha. Aloha. I mean, that hat is actually better than anything we're all wearing, so I'll buy. Thank you. No, thank you. Let me unlock this cab. Oh, I see a sparkly. Oh, I got an aloha. One second. Aloha. Wait, I got the aloha. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, hey. Hello. Hey. Yo. When I figure out what those are for, I can't wait. Good fortune and a chest. Should I open it? Sweet. A madam's visor. Hmm. I just bought new headgear for us. Oh, they now have... Oh, lower damage from fire. Holy cow, that is a lot better than what I'm wearing now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a decision. Who has the lowest defense? 65, 64, 56. Hey, good news for you, man. There you go. You now have the highest defense. So now I know this, and it took me this long to know this, equipment and things like that, uh, I, I'm just gonna equip that, um, now I have star ratings for how good and rare the objects are. Interesting. That's actually useful. I, I still, I'm still gonna hoard everything. Alright, we got another side quest of a person freaking out. It's the absolute worst. After I came all the way to Hawaii too. <laughs> and with nowhere to go, I either sleep out here or die. Maybe he's also from Japan. It seems like he's in the pinch. Yo, something the matter? 
you drop your passport or something? Uh, um, no, actually, I've got my passport on me. Uh, but my phone, it, on the other hand, it's busted. The darn screen won't even turn on. And every bit of info I needed for my trip was on my phone. So now I have no clue where to find my hotel. At this rate, they might even cancel my reservation. I guess I just might die out here. That's a little extreme, dude. Uh, I just don't know what to do. Yep, that's a modern day kid. No idea what to do when their phone breaks. Seems like he's in a tough spot. He can't find his hotel. Maybe I should lend him a hand? Sure. Want some help? Probably beats trying to find it on your own. Y you're gonna help me? Oh, thank you so much. You have no idea how stressed I was. In a foreign country with no one I could talk to? Must have been rough. What's the hotel you're looking for called, anyway? I think it was... Beachside Hotel? Have you heard of it? Um, sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. But I don't know the lay of the land all that well, either. Why don't we ask around? Someone's bound to know something. <laughs> I'm so sorry to have you go through all of this, even though we literally just met. Uh, seriously, thank you. Excuse me, have you heard of a place called Beachside Hotel? Beachside, was it? Sorry, I'm not too familiar with that one. Oh, no dice, huh? Hey, chin up. We're just getting started. Let's hit up another spot. Hey there, pardon me. Have you heard of some place called Beachside Hotel? Hmm, Beachside Hotel. Never heard of it. If you let me check my map, I can try and find Beachside Hotel. Ugh, man. Didn't think it'd be so hard to find someone in the know. What? Is this some kind of ghost hotel or what? No way! It's gotta exist! I made a reservation online and everything! Hey, buddy, you'll be all right. You need for the waterworks? I'm sure we'll find a lead. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thank you. We've just met, and you've been nothing but kind to me. I'm just... <laughs> you're sure quick to tear up. Oh, right. Uh, I never got your name, did I? I'm so lying. Name's Casca. Anyway, let's just keep asking around. It's way too early to give up now, man. Uh, all right, Kasuga-san. Are you two from Japan? <laughs> Aloha! Welcome to Hawaii! Here, a little gift from me to you. I swear Gafi goes, I'm in love. Oh! Um, thank you very much. And one for you, too. Oh no, I ran out of lei. All good. I appreciate the thought, though. Take this flower, then. It might be small, but the sentiment's just as grand. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure is. Thanks. You got a flower. Okay. Uh, um, miss? You're from around here, right? Uh, would you happen to know where the Beachside Hotel is? We're not quite sure how to get there. Hmm. Beachside Hotel, right? I don't think that's anywhere near here. Oh, all right. Thank you for your time. Oh, now, now, if you're looking for the Seaside Hotel, then it's just a short walk down this road and to the right. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Ah! That might be it. I might be staying at the Seaside Hotel. Say what? You gotta be kidding. I I'm so sorry, Kazuga-san. The names were so similar, I ended up giving you the wrong one. I saw Explains before. why we were having such a hard time. Well, anyway, glad you found your hotel. I really ought to thank you too, miss. We wouldn't have gotten anywhere without you. <laughs> Happy to be of help. Oh, right. Just remembered. Um, the lay is free of charge, but I do have a favor to ask. I'm on a hula dance group, you see, which is hard on a student's budget. 
I need some money for costume and dance studio rentals. <laughs> if you'd like, could you maybe make a small donation to my dance funds? Oh yes, of course! I'd be sleeping on the streets if it weren't for you. This donation is just a token of my gratitude. This much? You sure? Thank you. It's not really a fair exchange, but I can guide you to the hotel myself. Huh. Would that be okay? Yeah, no problem. It's not that far. Come on, let's get going. Uh, all right! I guess I'm heading out now, Kasuga-san. Thank you so much. Right on. Take care, man. Well then, looks like that's that. He's pretty lucky to message a girl. Donations, huh? Well, that was just a cutscene one. I have a feeling that's gonna come back later, though. Now, where am I? I'm over here. How did I get over here? I'll never know. What? Oh, there's one all the way up there. You know what? Let's do story. First things first. Losing a battle. Alright guys, let's go. I have to go talk to her. Hello. Hi. Hello. A grass cutter. Aloha. Thank you. Thank you for the good fortune. Alright, we have that one unlocked. I have to actually go over here. I need to talk to her before I forget about the friend. Ichiban, you get my packs. Look at all the friends you got now. Okay. Oh, yeah. The people around town are so friendly if you just say hi, huh? <laughs> hey, speaking of that, did you know you can make friends in other ways than saying hi? Just the other day, I gave some coffee to the sleepy security guard and we became Aloha ladies. Oh. I see. Doing little favors can go a long way. Hey. If you order my food here, think you and I might get along better? <laughs> You're a hell of a saleswoman. <laughs> <laughs> Here, this one's on the house. For our friendship, I love this stuff. A fighting... Ooh. Hmm? Nice. You sure about this? I appreciate it. Bye-bye. I love to chat some more, so come on by. Alright. Aloha. Alright, so you're saying... Buy my stuff. Let's dig. Alright, evasion. Go. Yeah, that was Stop. great. Thank you. Welcome. Oh. Oh. Um, thanks. What's. Is all this fruit? It's my own personal blend. I don't keep on the regular menu. It's not a service I provide to the same one, but seeing as you're a regular. If you have the fruits, I can make you more in your Thank future. You. Seriously. In fact, I can also whip you up herbs. Now. Okay. 
Fruits and herbs are you acquire around the city as well as ingredients like seafood can be made and powerful healing items. Beside resolve, you can get these okay. Welcome. Ooh. I'm curious. Let's what karaoke songs do you guys got? I'm willing to waste five dollars to see what we got. I didn't get the karaoke uh pack. Let's get ready oh. to rock! Hell stew, the future I I'm gonna make it through and I won't run away. I won't die. I'm gonna level up Alright. We'll do karaoke another day. I am gonna. Oh, no! A mistake. Nope, no karaoke. We got things to do. We're fully drunk, I just noticed. Megan, I just eat everything out of the bar. I'm gonna level up. If there's a fight happens, I will do it just to sober. First things first. Alright. 88 T's. Aloha. Oh, okay. Buy this one. Give it to him. Um buy this one give it to me I'll get it on the Kiryu cause why not um, thank you for stopping okay now that <clears throat> I'm going to food. Alright, we're gonna ignore that, because if I get in the fight, I want to get sober. So, let's what? fight. For go for your the battle's on! This sucks! Oh, well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Sorry to drag my feet. God, Jeff's big boy. Nah, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Oh, come on! This is a genuine driver's license. It's got to be worth at least 70. Brother, 50 bucks, take it or leave it, here. Yeah? I doubt someone else would give you the time of day. Oh, fine, tight ass. Jeff, how's it hanging? <laughs> well, if it isn't Eric Tomizawa, you hit upon a camera? Or did you want some carne asada? No, and hell no. Huh. Who have we here? My passport got stolen three days ago. You see it? Ah, <sighs> gee, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. Dude, you really gonna hold out on us? Last time I checked, bro, I wasn't running a charity. 
Ah, oh, pretty please. I accept all payments in cash. Come back when you actually have business, huh? <laughs> well, you heard the bastard. We're gonna need to pay him up front. How much is he gonna want? Eh, somewhere around 30 bucks. Might be able to haggle it down, though. Well, still pretty steep. Guess I'll need to come up with some cash. Oh, good thing I well, still have cash. Whatever. If that's what it takes to find Chitose, I'll do it. Hmm. Chitose. Hey, you two. Over here. Huh? I happen to over here. You looking for a woman named Chitose? Uh, yeah. You got any info? I might have an idea of where you could find her. <laughs> Pretty young thing, right? Got her hair and braids like a dancer? Yeah, yeah! That's gotta be her! Where'd you last see her, old-timer? Take this. This is... Oh. More sex work? Yes. Gary's Love Camp. Yes. Like an escort service? I know what that mates is. We're gonna get well, summoned. Can't say you're asking the right guy, but my guess is it's for scoring some intimate time. If you catch my drift. Uh, no. You see, the other day while I was dozing off around here, a guy dialed up the number on that flyer, and then that Jertose girl showed up. Oh man, she was unforgettable. I just couldn't take my eyes off her. From what I heard, she's that company's top talent. Hmm. Sounds like we have us a lead. Let's give him a ring. And, and hey, good looking out. How do you not remember what Poundmates is? Gary Buster Holmes came on their release day. But I gotta ask, why bother helping a couple of strangers? <laughs> Always happy to assist my fellow Japanese. Not to mention, Jeff's a douche. Makes <laughs> me sick to watch him profit off of what he does. Well, guess what? You're a lifesaver, man. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. If you do find her, just buy me a drink next time you pass by. You got it. Heck, I'll even take you bar hopping. Okay, you ready? Do it. You have no idea what's about to happen. Yes, hello. You've reached Gary's love camp. It's Gary Buster Holmes, guys. Hi! Uh, hello! I saw your flyer and decided to call. And I'm, I'd like to invite a, a woman over. Huh? Congratulations! You're our hundredth customer. To celebrate, your service today is on the house. Luck is in your favor, my friend. Oh, for real? Thanks! Now then. Could you please provide your name and current location? <laughs> the name's Casca. I'm, uh, next to Jeff's taco truck. Oh, that's quite a sketchy spot. I completely understand your concern. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, exactly. Okay, well, in that case, I'll send you one of our up-and-comers. Still wet behind the ears, but get the job done. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually... I was wondering if I could request Chitose, if possible. You want to request Chitose? Uh, just a moment, please. Hmm. Hmm. Today really is your lucky day. As our rising star, Chitose's usually all booked up, but she does have an opening right now. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> if you could, please send her on over. Of course! She'll be there lickety-split. Thank you for your business. I got a feeling. This is just a feeling, okay? Chitose is not a real name. In fact, it's just a name she made up or took from this person. What I'm about to get is probably a really buff chick who's going to annihilate things. I extremely doubt it's her. Did it work? Yep, Chitose's on her way. She'll be here lickety-split, the guy said. 
good. Well, then again, that homeless guy did say Chitose is a pretty little thing, so I guess maybe it is her. Strange, though. I thought these businesses only sent someone to your hotel. Not that I'd know. Come to think of it, yeah. Maybe it's more like a dating service. Like where you meet up somewhere and go to the hotel later. Or that's a thing these days. <laughs> you sure know your stuff. You, uh, do this pretty often? Yes, in the past oh, game I did. Not at all. It, it's just, I was raised in a soap land, so uh, this kind of deal's second nature to me. No kidding. You learn something new every day. Yeah, it's nothing special. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it does not sound like her. Oh, looks like she's here. Huh? Where? <laughs> hey, over here. What? Oh, how did I guess this? Is that Gary's daughter? <laughs> Whoa! Who are you? Oh, um, are you Mr. Kasuga? Uh, yeah, I, I'm Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I'm Chitose. <laughs> Can't believe we found you so quickly. What a flawless plan. Nice going, Kasuga. What? What? <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's not her at all! What? We've got the wrong one? Yeah, this chick's completely different! What the hell, old man? Huh? Uh, don't blame me! Isn't this who you're looking for? Her name's Titose. It's similar too! I mean, yeah, the hair's the same, and, and that name sure is a coincidence. But, uh, our Chitose isn't so... Uh, chiseled. What, am I not good enough for you? Talk about rude. No, look, it, it's not like that. We're plenty good. Chitose san? Hey, you shitheads making a racket. That's it. Time to shut you people up. We can figure this out later, Kasuga. Let's take care of these guys first. Uh, right. Hey, Chitose san. Things are about to get rough, so stay behind us. Oh. Why? I ain't afraid of little boy over here. And besides, isn't this what you called me over for? Huh? I I'm not sure I understand. You requested me, Chitose Buster Holmes? Yes! From Poundmates? Yes! Poundmates is a unique service that deploys fabulous fighters to help combat your pugilistic problems. Sorry, what? Hey, nobody fucking annoys me and lives to speak about it. You bitches are dead! Man, Let's do this, so quick to death. Hell yeah! Run oh, along to market! Let's do it! Welcome back to Pound Town. <laughs> On the party leader's turn, you can summon pound mates for help by pressing the right bumper. These are powerful allies with wide range of abilities, but their assistance carries a fee. The price depends on the pound mate, and it'll increase depending on their rank and how many times you request them within the same fight. As you continue to use pound mate, your member rank will increase. As your member rank goes up, you'll be able to add benefits when you request someone. These options carry an additional fee in exchange for powering up the pound mate. The higher the rank, the more pound mate. Oh! So now you have a reason to use pound mates more often, because I actually barely use them. Oh, man. What's the hold up? I love that. I think it's Gary Buster's Holmes' daughter. Oh, with benefit. Oh, I can't do with benefits. Alright. I want to see this. Here's the one. Hey, you reached pound me. Oh, oh, yeah, yes, thank you. Delivery! Service to the pound and special delivery! Count on ya! Oh, wait. Oh, she stays in the battle with us? Let's do it! Oh, that's actually neat! Can I just have her as a permanent party member? She's kicking ass. Follow my lead. 
Ready as I'll ever be. Learning more every day. Man. Okay, summons are revamped a little, which is nice. Now, what's with benefits like? Bro, who the hell are these dudes? And that chick, she's a monster. So, gonna run like a chicken? Or do we still got beef? What's it gonna be? Ah! Oh, please, please don't hurt me. <laughs> And that does it for your free trial. Next time I'll have to charge, but I hope to see you again soon. Uh, sure. Alrighty, toodles. We will call again. What was that all about? Well, that was pound mates. Whenever you're in a pinch, press pound to order some backup. You really do know your stuff. You do this often too? Yes. I may have gone through a phase. <laughs> Good old pound mates. Never would have guessed they'd expand all the way into Hawaii. Ah. Uh, Talked about going global. That would probably explain why he didn't think it was that pound mates, because, right, you're in Hawaii, not Japan. Now, she wasn't the Chitose I expected, but she was a damn cool Chitose in the end. She was an ass kicking the Chitose, who I will summon to raise her rank. Now is she I think she is she Gary Buster Holmes daughter is my guess. I'm thinking it's daughter. Ah. Looks like we're gonna need to come looks like we're gonna need to come up with some cash after all. How much do you say we need? 30 bucks. Give or take. But that's the ballpark range. Oh, and if you couldn't guess, I'm broke. <laughs> right. I don't think I've got anything either. Wait. Huh? Uh, what's up? What do you know? Turns out I do have the cash. What? Huh? Sheesh, man. Why do you just say so? That takes care of that. Let's beeline back to Jeff's. Hi. Well, we might solve the Jeff problem, but we don't know what to expect thereafter. We ought to save some for the future. Yes. Good plan. Never hurts to have a little cash on hand. You, uh, know any part-time under-the-table type gigs? Mm hmm? Hmm? Well, uh, what kind of... Under the table work I've done. Uh, does picking up cans and a pie count? <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of that off screen. I did that when I was homeless. Okay, actually, if you're gonna bike, maybe you could hack it as a delivery guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, delivering what? Yep. Food from our, the restaurants. Delivering apps or delivery apps are a real big over here. All you gotta do is pick up whatever the customer orders and bring it to them. Not too hard, right? Plus, these companies are always hiring. You can earn a pretty penny as long as you... Uh, ooh, a hiccup. Bust your ass, that is. Totally. Cruising around delivering food? I could do that in my sleep. Where do I start? Okay, is it gonna be... Uh, what is it? DoorDash? Is it DoorDash? You could sign up for email that once you're approved. Go wait by Aloha Beach. Yo! Heck, I could just shoot an email for you. Save you the hassle. If you could, that'd be great. I'll head over to Aloha Beach in the meantime. We got the 30 bucks! I'm just gonna teleport. <laughs> and then after I do this, I think I'm gonna call it. A lot of pigeons in Hawaii. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but there feels like more here. Chickens, too. And the birds' behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long, they all start closing in on you. Kiryu-san, you ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones. But I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 standoff. Wow. Even pigeons respect Kiryu's glare. Looking at. 
Oh wait, let me pick this up. No, you can't do that to me. That's a nice looking tree. Around here, you said? This place has delivery jobs? It should, anyway. They hang out for a while. They'll show up. I, I, I'm gonna take off. Uh, good luck to you. That's it? Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver. Not some pedal pushing bike boy. Take it sleazy. Huh? Guess I'll just wait here. Huh? E.T. go home. Are you looking for a job, bro? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hmm. Wild fro, unique face. Getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you. Crazy, I dig it. You got a problem? Who the hell are you anyway? Me? I'm from the company you applied to. Crazy Eats. Food so fast, you'll think you've gone crazy. Call me Charlie. A crazy You're from... Seriously? Um, uh, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. <laughs> nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichi bro. Welcome aboard. Huh? Uh, hell yeah! Just like that? Sure, we've got the goods. More importantly, we're short-staffed. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs, shit, you name it. I, I uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Yep, now, enough chit-chat. Let's get you rolling. Uh, sure, so, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips, by which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right, deliver the food. The faster I go, the more I make. You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> that's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah, I'm all ears. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazy. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is captivating. Crazy is captivating? For example, consider how I made my entrance just now. Jumping, spinning around, screaming, it's captivating stuff, wouldn't you say? Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra service we provide. We want to make the people of Hawaii laugh and smile with our outside-of-the-box way of doing things. That's how Crazy Eats disrupts the entire delivery industry. Look where we are. People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be the same as it is everywhere else? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? That's where your skill as a contracted deliverist comes in. Ride as fantastically as you can without making a mess of the food and go fast. Somewhere in all that chaos lies the brilliance of a true crazy professional. This is nowhere near as simple as I thought it'd be. And listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we don't insure the deliverer, so look out for yourself. Anyway, will that sound good to you? You in? Sure, I'm in. Okay. That's more than enough onboarding. Learn by doing, I say. How's about you give it a go right now? Okay. Let's see how crazy eats goes crazy, eh? First, you need to grab the food and try to hide the bright in the sun. I hate to say, I would hate to buy a burger from the street. Awesome! I guess that was pretty easy for you, huh? 
Now, what sets crazy it's apart, tricks. Start off by pedaling. Okay, now that you got some speed, try pulling off a trick. This is crazy! <gasps> That's a three-trick crazy combo. When you hit stunts in succession, you start to enter an extreme state of, oh, perfect timing, bro. Customer alert. Break near him and hand over the bro. Super crazy delivery! Oh, this is mega Japanese. Bravo, beautiful. You officially certified deliverers. I love seeing promising new stars join the ranks. Okay, I'm bored with this training. Let's put you in actual shit. Go crazy out there. Yeah, this is more Japanese than the can quest. Are you ready? Let's get go crazy! crazy. Wait, we go! Good delivery! Pause again! This is great! Cool! This is actually pretty fun. Super crazy delivery! Delivery! How's that? This is crazy! Genius! Super crazy delivery! Thanks for calling! Catch some air! Yes. 
Oh, that was worth it. And that just brought me to an S. Oh, that was fun. That was hard work. That's real crazy. They definitely adjusted that. That's Ooh, great. That's the last of it. Excelente! Ichi, bro, that was sick! You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man, crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. Oh, <laughs> isn't it? The rush of speed, the danger of failing, the insanity of your presentation. Oh, it's like ecstasy. You can't get that feeling from just riding the bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. But adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich! Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we've ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. Something to commemorate your first run. Eh, sweet. Thanks. Glad to be working with you, Charlie. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. Huh. So yeah, I got the 30 bucks I need, even though I already had the 30 bucks. Oh, wait. He's a pound mate? Charlie's a pound mate. Okay. <laughs> oh, finish the go. Yeah. Tell me at least you made 30 bucks. Totally. Come on. Of course I did. Now let's get over the job. Just don't spend it along the way. <laughs> nah, don't you worry. If anyone's good at hanging out on the chump change, it's me. Alright then. To the taco truck we go. Actually, no. Into the saving I go. Alright, I think I'm gonna be done for now. I think I went on way longer than I thought I was going to, but then get crazy delivery. Oh, actually, I only went for an hour 30. Usually I do about two hours. My timer was off. Naughty, naughty. Oh, uh, well, I'll still end it here. Um, next time we'll go to Jeff and see if I can get my passport back. Gotta feel I'm not gonna get my passport back, but we might get more information on the chick, who I'm not sure that's her real name. But I'm really happy we finally met Gary Buster Holmes' daughter. Never knew he had one, but... I extremely doubt his wife, because his wife, I doubt, would take his last and middle name. But until next time, I'll see you later. Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. It just hit me. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, they're not here. I was going to say, I can probably go there and figure it out, but oh well. I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and all that, so... Goodbye.